Ladies and gentlemen, there is something I've been telling you on this platform. And I want to repeat it once again. That the fallout between William Ruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa is going to be worse than the fallout between William Ruto and Uhuru Murei Kenyatta in 2018 after the handshake with Raila Amolo Odinga. And for those who've been following the political situation in the Republic of Kenya lately, you should have noted that Rigadi Gashagwa is rebelling already and it's just a matter of time before it explodes. Over the weekend, Rigedi Gashagwa supported one man, one vote, one shilling. And it was very clear that he won't apologize to anybody. One man, one vote, one shilling was the selling point, point for the BBI. William Ruto is opposed to that one man, one vote, one shilling campaign. Rigedi Gashagwa has promised that is going to lead that campaign. And therefore the two are going to fall out as a result of one man, one vote, one shilling. For the avoidance of doubt, it's good that I put it clearly today, during the day, in matters of revenue sharing, regarding Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, is a believer and a proponent of one man, one vote, one shilling. Resources are about people. The whole issue of resources is about people. The more you are, the more taxes you pay. And it goes without saying, the more taxes you pay, when it comes to sharing, you share more. And it's that way. And we have no apologies to make because it cannot be a constituency like Roiro. And by almost 800,000 in a pair of a similar amount, a CDF, with a constituency equal to 14,000. And yesterday, series of political events also took place that points to a possibility of William Ruto firing back at Rigadi Gashagwa. I want you guys to listen to Mwangi Kiunjuri taking on Rigadi Gashagwa and pay very close attention to what Mwangi Kiunjuri is telling Rigadi Gashagwa. Then I want to do an analysis about another comment by the cabinet secretary, Moses Kuria, because Moses Kuria sits in the cabinet with Rigedi Gashagwa and William Samoyar Aputu. So I'm going to focus this analysis on the comment by Moses Kuria. But first of all, listen in to Mwangi Kunjuri. Sasa jameni sisi wakikuyu ni nani ya lituroga. Serikali tumeingia ata miakabiri ya ijakwisha. Tumepewa serikali uko juu tuko. Na kama tumeshirwa na kazi, tusiingiri ya rais, tuede tuuriza viongozi wetu kwa nini kasi ya ifanyiki. Saa hii, Sisi dia watu tu wa kwanza wa kuita mikutano ya kwenda kuzungumzia 2027. Tunaita mikutano huko Rimuru 3 ationa tukazungumzie vile tumefinywa vile tunaweza pata kiongozi 2027. Wale wengine viongozi wa serikali na wameshaguriwa na wako na vio vya juu na tunawajua kwa majina na tunawajua kwa mienendo yao. Na au usiku Dia wanakisha moto, wanakishia rais moto usiku. Mchana wanaogea wako pamoja na rais. Lakini usiku, dia watu wakuunganisha wakikuyu wengine na jamii ya mautikinya kuerezea vile tumefinywa. Wewe kama uko na shida na rais, tuwebie uko na shida na rais peke yako. Na unajua jameni, huwezi kuwa ati wakenya wengine wanaungana na we unataka kugawa watu yako, Ati ili uwewe edi umepata uongozi maari furani. Ati ili wa Kenya wakusikie unataka kwanza uanganisha watu yako maari furani. Hawa watu yako watakupereka wapi. Ata ili wakati wa moi. Tulijaribu kutoa moi tukiwa wakikuyu peke yetu. Tukashindwa. Nipaka wakati tuliungana dia kibaki akashinda. Na bila kuungana kibaki hake pata uongozi wa Kenya. Ni mpaka wakati Raira alisema kibaki tosha. Karonso wakaingia. William Ruto wakaingia na wale wengine wote. Dia kibaki alipata uongozi. 
lakini ile kujitenga atituko wengi atitukiingia rimuru na ile rimuru tunaenda ni ya kupigana na serikali badala ya kushikana pamoja tujiulize jameni ni kipi tutafanya watu wetu maendeleo ipatikane mimi nikiwa kiongozi wa Laikipia ni ujiulize ni nini ndatapata kwa serikali watu ya Laikipia endelee mbele kasi yetu ni kuchochea wengine wanapiga duru mchana wengine duru usiku wengine wanapigana rais mchana wengine wanapigana na rais usiku na ile kitu inaniuma saindi ni wale ambao wanapigana na rais usiku na mchana wa mchekesha jameni sisi tuko ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza uchaguzi 2032 sisi tutatetea hii serikali kwa sababu serikali imetutendea in the short Mwingi kiunjuri is accusing Rigathi Gashagwa of undermining or sabotaging William Samoe Arapruto. The only point of departure between me and Mwangi Kiunjuri is when he is advising Rigathi Gashagwa to support the government because remember Mwangi Kiunjuri was actually a cabinet secretary in Uhuru Kenyatta's government to an extent that Uhuru Kenyatta even stopped him from vying for the gubernatorial seat for Laikipia. But then he still opposed Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. But that's besides the point. The truth is There is no way Mwangi Kiunjuri can just come out and attack Rigathi Gashagwa the way he has done there. But let me take you to what Moses Kuria posted because it's going to form the basis of this analysis. But before you do that for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go straight to what Moses Kuria posted on his official Facebook page. Let me just get what Moses Kuria posted on his official page. I've checked his his official Twitter handle. That post is not there. But I've also checked that fake or pseudo or parody Twitter account. The same has been posted there. So I don't know whether Musa Sukuria confused the two accounts or the the person running the <laughs> the parody account picked whatever Musa Sukuria posted and shared. But let me just read for you what Musa Sukuria is saying in this tweet because it's going to form the basis of this analysis. Musa Sukuria is saying this is why I will not lie to the people of Mount Kenya region about one man one vote one shilling that you won't lie to them our region has produced the sitting deputy president nine cabinet secretaries including the attorney general Justin Muturi the national treasury Ndungu professor Ndungu and the secretary to the cabinet <laughs> is proceeding majority leader also comes from the mountain chair budget Didi Nyoro comes from the mountain and chair finance in the national assembly also comes from the mountain and is also adding that deputy speaker and the deputy ma majority leader in the senate also comes from the mountain that is Moses Kuria what other powers would we be looking for we are in government and we can implement one man one vote one shilling by friday if we are serious let us be honest with our people that post by moses korea is targeting none other than the deputy president rigathi gashagwa moses korea is saying a lot of things in this tweet for those who can understand politics that the mountain forms the core of kenya kwanza He's basically telling the mountain that even if Uru Kenyatta was the president, even if Rigathi Gashagwa was the president, they might not have opportunity to begin because William Ruto gave them these positions because William Ruto was desperate for their support at that time. But my interpretation are as follows. Number one, Moses Kuria is actually reminding Rigathi Gashagwa about his failure, his inability to push for Mount Kenya interest yet he is the second 
in command. Now, if the second in command can complain, <laughs> if the second in command can go to a rally and say, we want one man, one vote, one shilling, yet is the second in command, then what is the need of being the second in command? That is the message Moses Korea is telling Rigadi Gashagwa. That look here, Mr. Rigadi, you are the second in command. Because remember, William Ruto is totally against this one man, one vote, one shilling. To an extent that when the Gidunguri member of parliament, Wamushomba Gadoni, tried to talk about it, she was actually gagged. She was told, do not talk about that because that's Uru's project. So let's wait and see how Rigadi Gashagwa is going to actually respond to the fact that he's the deputy president and is still complaining. Now, if Rigadi Gashagwa is complaining as a deputy president, what about other regions without cabinet secretaries? The entire Luo nation has a cabinet secretary, one, and I think two permanent secretaries. Moses Kura is yet to list for you the number of cabinet secretaries from the mountain. If you were to list, most of you guys would fall. Yet, in other regions, not have even a single permanent secretary. So Moses Kura is right that instead of making noise, Rigadi Gashagwa can actually use Kimani Shungwa, the, the, the chair of the, I mean, the majority leader. He can use the chair of the budget committee, who is indeed Nyoro, and allocate funds. That's what Moses Kura is telling them. You, you guys have the power. Implement it right now. <laughs> Number two, Moses Kura is also reminding Rigedi Gashagwa about his hypocrisy. That Rigedi Gashagwa is just raising this matter of the one man, one vote, one shilling for political expediency. That instead of raising it to the people, for example, let's say Rigedi Gashagwa goes to a church in uh, Madeira and he tells the people there. I mean, what will those people do? What will they do? Nothing. But Rigedi Gashagwa can actually start an initiative through parliament, he can kickstart a referendum call. That's what Rigadi, that's what Moses Korea is telling him. Because for you to change certain sections of our constitution, you need a referendum. And if they have the numbers the way Rigadi Gashago is claiming, Moses Korea is simply telling him, go and initiate a referendum. You have members of parliament in the National Assembly, you have numbers, and of course you have the majority leader who can push for that bill. Then people can go to the referendum and pass that one man, one vote, one shilling. <laughs> Otherwise, the noise you are making, you are making it to wrong people. Those people, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. It's you who has the power. So don't lament with them, but find a solution. Number three, Moses Korea, in my view, is also telling Rigeti Gashagwa in no uncertain terms that you've started a war with the president. And in my view, that's why he's listing that the person you, you, are, you, you want to fight is the one who gave you the position of the deputy party leader, I mean deputy president. He's given uh, us the cabinet, nine of them. He's given Kimani Shungwa, the majority leader. He has given us the attorney general. He has given us the chair of the budget committee and all other positions that matter in the Republic of Kenya. So in short, Moses Gura is reminding William Ruto that Rigadi Gashagwa has started a war with you. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it's going to be very, very interesting. And lastly, Moses Korea is actually challenging the Yedi Gashagwa's ability to become Mount Kenya Kingpin. Because he's number two, he's, he's claiming to be the Kingpin, but he can't implement, he can't push for some of these uh, recommendations. The, the good things he's talking about, he's just making noise with them. He's the deputy president. There's nothing he's doing. That's what Moses Kura is trying to tell him. You are the deputy president and there's really nothing you are doing to, on the ground, on the ground to the people. I don't know what you think, but for me, the political developments in Mount Kenya and in Kenya Kwanza is going to be very interesting. And I'm just hoping that Saturday should come first so that we'll see them going to churches and delivering those messages. Or maybe William Ruto is going to be forced to convene a meeting, either the cabinet meeting or crisis meeting of Kenya Kwanza or meet with Mount Kenya leaders. Remember, the other day William Ruto met with Kiambu leaders. He locked out Moses Kuria, who is the, the cabinet secretary from the region. He locked out Rigadi Gashagwa. And I explained for you guys why William Ruto decided to lock Moses Kuria. Because he didn't want to give Rigadi Gashagwa opportunity to also meet those people. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, please just know that I value it. Bye-bye.